Hello everybody and welcome to another one of our leadership training videos. I'm outside in sunny Santa Monica, just uh, outside of LA, on the Third Street Promenade. Just going to bring you this short video on some leadership tips and ideas and thoughts to help you in your own journey to become a more effective leader, a more creative leader, a more impactful leader, or just to give you some ideas and thoughts as to what it takes to be a leader in today's world. I guess the one that I want to talk about is a simple one but often forgotten. It is about not burning your bridges behind you. Do not burn your bridges behind you. My name is Chris Igwe. I have over 35 years experience leading training and developing teams across five major markets in Europe, Middle East and Africa. So a lot of experience about uh, moving countries, moving jobs, moving culture, moving environments and therefore I think this topic is particularly important and relevant to you as you listen and watch. If what I say resonates with you, then please feel free to like, comment and share, and of course subscribe to the channel so you know what else is going on. So let's get started then. Don't burn your bridges. Now I can talk about this very personally and as a very important subject because I have changed companies primarily because I've reached a level in the company where I needed to move on or as is uh, the, the, what happens is I've been able to be headhunted and therefore hired into more senior positions as I've gone through my career. Now inevitably some companies are okay with you leaving, res resigning. They seem to forget that you're not there to stay in the company for a lifetime and certainly less and less so in today's world. But there are some companies and some bosses who do take it rather hard and do not appreciate it. I've had a couple of those, but uh, at the end of the day, it's your choice and your decision. But, and this is really important, whatever it is that you do, and however you choose to leave the company, make sure you do so in the most dignified manner with integrity. If you like, with a, a handshake or a hug or whatever it happens to be for those who you've worked with, equally with your bosses because this is a small world that we live in, whether it's a small world in your business environment or just a small world. You run into people in different places that you never expected to find because people change jobs, they change careers, they change um, industries. You'll always run into someone. So it's really important that when you leave a job, you leave in the best possible circumstances. Even if they've been bad to you, and there are some companies that are, if you've been terminated, invited to leave, encouraged to leave, pushed off the ledge, whatever it happens to be. And I know it's difficult to do. I know it's difficult to achieve, but you've got to find that place of peace, peace in your own heart and forgiveness if they've been uh, unjust or unfair with you. Because trust me, you will cross paths again at some stage and you don't want to be carrying that baggage. But equally importantly, which is why it's good not to burn bridges, is that you have the opportunity at some later stage, if somebody did indeed terminate you inappropriately or was rude or unpleasant or something, that person may need your help. What could be better than you being able to offer them some help and service? And you may say, I'm not gonna do that, that does not interest me. If they've been rough or bad or mean to me, I will not turn the other cheek, as it says in the Bible. I would recommend that you do think about that because you want your career to continue to develop and improve and you'll always need people around you and because the world has a funny way of doing these things where you think oh he or she I've forgotten them they're not going to be in my life anymore and suddenly bam they turn up in another part of your life in another state a situation so really do not burn your bridges today I can say seriously that many companies I've been at I have tens if not 20 25 friends relationship contacts people I can pick up the phone to and talk to at any stage I recommend that you do that because it builds your portfolio of relationships it builds your network and to be honest it just shows that you're a decent human being as well assuming that's important to you so I'd highly recommend that whenever you leave a company you move to another one do not burn your bridges leave your bridges as best intact as you can some departures or moving on are more difficult than others. I know that, I recognize that, trust me, I have been in all the situations that you can imagine, but I've still grown through it. And like I say, some of those people are still my best friends or have become my best or good friends, whether professionally or privately. So in wrapping this up, 
Don't burn bridges, continue to maintain relationships because that's what leadership is about. It's about knowing that you have the strength within you to overcome whatever life or the company or the business or an individual has thrown at you. You can handle it and you can take it on board and help it to make you even stronger. So once again, this is Chris Igwe. Thank you very much for listening and watching. Please feel free to share, like, comment, and of course, uh, subscribe to the channel so you know what other videos are becoming available. So until the next time, goodbye.